Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to this cleaning stuff channel. Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaner here. Today we're pressure washing. Now, some of you may remember where I am. Uh, I think most of you on this channel have probably seen this video because it did like half a million views or something. Uh, remember this blue patio? Lovely job. Uh, they've actually been and repointed it since I've been. It's been a couple of weeks. Look at that. Looks amazing. Uh, but the focus of today um, is something we couldn't do last time. Let me see if you guys can guess why I can do it. So it's just this small section today, super grubby. I think this is actually was way dirtier than all of that other stuff was. Um, but let's have a look. Any guesses why we couldn't do this last time? Any guesses? Any guesses? There's no drains. Um, well, the drainage is actually these little holes in here that are full up with mud. So we're gonna have to try and unblock them because the drainage actually runs out underneath this sort of pathway here. So the reason I couldn't do it before, we didn't have any way to extract the water because that is going to flood. Um, even if we poke the holes in, the amount of water that's gonna to take to clean it, um, it's gonna rise a water level and it's gonna flood and we wouldn't be able to see what we're doing. And water would flow in underneath that uh, door for the conservatory, we didn't want that. So got the gutter vacuum with us today. So it's basically an industrial wet vac. So that's gonna suck up the water before the water level gets too high. So we can nicely clean this job. So let's begin. Uh, I'll move some stuff about and then we'll start cleaning. Pew. Just hit myself in the nuts with that pole. Ow. Ouch. We got a worm. Come on, bud. Oh, we got two.
moment folks this is not easy at all uh, it's flooding really really quickly um, but we are getting there as you can see it's that lovely blue color again that we love um, so it's just these edges to do around here I'm working my way away from the house I've put some wood there to try and stop anything splashing into there this part I'm worried about um, and obviously that part as well so I'm just gonna have to try and go really quick um, on that part and get rid of it Same here as well. so this is what we do when it's full just take it to a nice grassy area and then just drain her out. There's not really any drains around here. Like it's really weird. It's so ag agricultural. Um, I can't actually spot any decent drainage around the property. So we're just using that. It's only water anyway. So we'll uh, let this drain out again. You can just see how much water it collects up. It's crazy. But we, we're getting there now. This was actually really quite tough.
Ta-da! All done. How long did that take? I think that only took an hour, you know, actually. That or less than an hour, yeah. And look at that, beautiful. There's a few buckets of water come out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so imagine if we didn't have that, that would have just drained. Like, it, uh, the, that would have flooded, yeah. Because even when I cleared them things, it wasn't going anywhere. It was trying to go in it, but it wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, straight under there, yeah. Yeah, very pleased with that. That's come up lovely. Don't even need to put any chemical on it. I wouldn't have anyway, because if you put a bleach solution down on this with some surfactant on it, to make it stick, which is also going to make it foam up. Um, and then you try and suck it up through that thing. All oh, my days are in for a world of pain. So, yeah, not a good idea to put <laughs> chemical anywhere that you can't drain it out of. But yeah, look at that. Very, very happy. The pointum's actually in good shape. There's only that bit there that blew out during the clean, but I'm sure they've probably got some of that mix that they've used over there um, to pop some of that back in. So yeah, very pleased. So uh, yeah, I've double checked, triple checked, nothing's gone in the house, so I'm over the moon about that. I was worried, even with that, I was worried because sometimes you're blasting water, it can just force its way under there, so yeah. But um, apart from that, super pleased, super happy. I just, oh, honestly, I love this. I absolutely love this. When I get my own house, a nice big place like this, this is the stone I'm having. It is beautiful. So yeah. All right, cool guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. So my glasses are filthy. Probably I've probably got mud all over my I can't see because my camera's covered in mud as well. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, huge shout out to everyone that has bought merch. I think it was on the last video. Um, oh, I've just released some t-shirts, some hoodies. There's like jogging bottoms and shorts and stuff. Uh, not wearing any today, I should have, shouldn't I? That would have been better. I don't want to get it dirty. But uh, yeah, thank you to everyone that's bought those. Those should be being shipped out and should be with you within a few weeks, I think. Uh, maybe sooner, I'm not actually sure, it might be sooner. Um, I don't deal with the shipping, there's a, a different company does it. Um, but yeah, thank you, I really honestly, I didn't expect anyone to buy it to be honest. I thought, yeah, I might sell like a shirt or two um, from the people that, you know, really look out for me on this channel. But yeah, quite a few of you have, there's, we sold quite a lot actually. The, uh, the people said, oh, we haven't had sort of like a first drop go like that before, so must mean I must be doing a good job at something eh? so yeah thanks a lot everyone there's links in the description if you want to buy a t-shirt uh, if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel if you want to only if you enjoyed it if you hated it don't bother but come on what's not to love about that job that was really fun actually so yeah old me Sid Partridge from what year is it Sid Partridge from 2020 would have been screwed on that I didn't have any of the equipment I have now I would have been I would have been scratching my head oh no what have I done I would have been bailing it out with buckets of water and stuff, so yeah. thanks for watching everyone. Uh, oh, this is my high vehicle actually, by the way. So uh, that's what I'm using for now, it's quite nice, it's kind of made me want one actually. It's uh, loads of room in the back. I'll end on that guys, take care, peace, love you all, and I'll see you very soon.